here in the Department of Civil Construction and Environmental Engineering. Your faculty expect you to produce documents for your courses that have a professional look. In this video, you will learn how to do this. To begin, there are two key principles to keep in mind for creating professional engineering documents. Having a consistent formal look and organizing the information so that your audience can follow easily and understand. For the first principle, to give documents a consistent formal look, your documents should always be typed. You should also use the same font type and size throughout. As a standard, we recommend Times New Roman size 12 in a black color, although there are other font options you could choose that will be legible and accessible. A link to these will be provided in the video description. You should also follow professional formatting standards for engineering documents. Typically, this will be a one inch margin with single spacing for body paragraphs. Your paragraphs should not be indented, although you should have a 10 point spacing between different paragraphs. Of course, be sure to always follow any specific guidelines given to you by your professor. For the second principle, your documents should be neatly organized according to audience expectations so that they can easily find information. For homework assignments or lab reports, don't copy information from assignment sheets. Instead, use numbered lists to answer prompts or use section headings to organize your information. For example, standard report headings include introduction, methods, results, and conclusion. You should use headings and subheadings such as introduction, methods, and so on to help readers understand the information that you are presenting. These headings help readers follow the information clearly. Good organization allows people to quickly find the information that they need within your document. You should also use bulleted lists as a formatting practice when writing out lists of items. Be sure to use them correctly though. Lists must be parallel. This means that each list item should begin with the same part of speech, such as a noun or a verb. Now let's walk through specific elements of some engineering documents you may produce while in CCEE. First, your homework assignments and reports should include a cover page with your name, the course code and section number, the assignment name or number, the date of submission, and if applicable, other necessary information such as the TA's name. You should center the information on the page with the title in the middle and other information at the bottom as shown here on the screen. In the workplace, Cover pages are important for transmitting engineering documents. They explain what project was completed, for whom, and when. Next, you should number your pages so that your readers know how long a document is and where to find information. You can provide simply a page number, or if there are many pages, the page number and total number of pages, such as the example shown on the screen. Your cover page does not count as the first page. Instead, you should begin your numbering on the page that follows it. Page numbering is important to help your readers track their progress through your documents. You also need to use them so you can generate your table of contents automatically. You should use the auto numbering feature in your word processor. To generate the table of contents, you'll need to use some other key features of your word processing programs. The table of contents is essential for a long document that has multiple sections, including headings and subheadings. This will help readers find the information that they need quickly and easily. 
As a tip, you should always automatically generate your table of contents. And in order to do that, you must use the styles function and page numbering in your word processor. Solid walls of text are hard to read and find information in. Instead, you should order information for your readers by providing headings and subheadings in your text. This designates a hierarchy for your document. Headings should be a larger size, such as a 16-point font, and bold, while subheadings are a medium size, such as 14 and italicized. For body text, if you use headings, you do not need to indent paragraphs. Use single line spacing for a professional look with 10 point spacing between paragraphs and sections, such as shown on the screen here. These general tips will help you produce a professional, formal looking document for your coursework here in CCEE and it will also prepare you for creating documents in the engineering workplace. Be sure to always follow any specific instructions given to you by your faculty for a given assignment.